Welcome to Hario and Strategy, a podcast for startup entrepreneurs. In this episode, I just want to share pointers for those business owners who are currently right now working on business plans or who are looking to raise funds for their businesses. I just want to share pointers on what funders look for in a business plan because we know that a business plan is oftentimes one of the standard requirements that funders um, request for from business owners when they are trying to acquire finance so i just want to help you so that you can be in a position to to prepare the business plan that meet the standards that rather ask the questions that funders that um, will be asking you or rather will be looking for in your business plan so that you don't get rejected. Lenders and professional investors read a business plan as much to find out about the preparer of the business plan as to understand the business itself. They look for thoroughness, professionalism and attention to detail in the plan in addition to the presentation of a credible scenario for running a successful business. After all, thoroughness, professionalism, and attention to detail are the same traits they want to see in the person responsible for managing the money they invest in or lend to the business. What better way elite indication of these characteristics than the business plan itself? The sophisticated investor has learned from experience that horses don't win races, jockeys do. The jockey is you, the business owner, and the business plan is the first official indication of the kind of race your house is going to be running. Similarly to successfully locating the right financing and finding the right mentor, developing a successful business plan separates the potential doers from the dreamers. By and large, only the truly committed take the trouble to prepare a business plan. You find some exception, of course, some potential small business owners have enough acumen and experience to carry out a good business plan in their head. And yes, some of those business owners have gone on to achieve great success, but You'd have a hard time convincing us that these same business owners couldn't have accomplished even greater success and avoided some early mistakes if they had taken the time to record and refine their ideas in a tangible business plan. The depth of your yearly commitment to, commitment to writing a business plan directly correlates to your chance of success. And a well thought out business plan demonstrates the depth of commitment necessary for you to end up at the helm of a successful business. So what do um, business, rather, what do funders, lenders, and investors look for in a business plan? Let's just get into with the specifics. If you're looking for lenders or investors to provide debt or equity capital for your company, it is to your advantage to understand the elements that each would most want to see in a well-written business plan. If you're seeking debt capital from a traditional lender like a bank, you will have to prove that you can repay the loan with interest. You will present your business plan to the loan officer who will in turn prepare the loan package and present it to the bank's loan committee for approval. And when it comes to investors, the investors become equity partners in your company and have different expectations. They want to know that the, the money they're investing in your company will result in a specified return on the investment. So how can you increase your, your chances with lenders and investors? So here's how you can increase your chances of success with lenders and investors. One, you need to look at your credit history. What is your credit history? Whether it's a credit card, a car loan, a personal loan, or a mortgage, lenders will want to know your credit risk level and will look at your credit score. In short, you will need to provide a credit history that demonstrates that you're a good risk. A past bankruptcy or a history of late payments will serve as a red flag and send out a warning sign that you may be about risk. Existing businesses will submit business financial history statements, copies of profit law statements, balance sheets and transaction tax returns for previous years. And if you're a new business, your personal financial history will be examined. The owners of your company will probably be required to submit personal balance sheets listing their assets. Uh, as well as copies of personal tax returns um yeah and lenders and investors frequently determine character based on prior business and or personal financial performance so for, that's the first thing you need to look at your credit history it will matter when we assess your application the second thing is collateral what collateral do you have what asset do you have and what are you willing to risk for the success of your business you may be asked to use your home and other liquid assets and other investments that qualify as collateral. 
Evaluation of collateral is generally at liquidation rate and the lender will establish the order of his of their right to claim and the sell and the, and sell the collateral and the personal assets of guarantors or borrowers. The amount and type of collateral you provide shows your commitment to your company and removes risk on the part of the investor or the lender. Then the third thing is after looking at your, your, your collateral now is the question of can you meet the lenders or investors financial goals? Lenders and investors want to know that you appreciate their needs and that you have considered your company's ability to fulfill their financial goals. If you're seeking a lender, your lender, which is a bank, wants to know that your company can repay the loan plus interest and for the period of the loan, maintain a positive cash flow that will allow you to continue to operate your business. If the loan is to increase assets, any asset that you want to finance must last at least as long as the loan period. For example, you cannot get a 5 year 25,000 rents loan on a piece of electronic equipment that is expected to become obsolete within two years of the date of patches. The asset should generate the repayments of funds. That's the goal. Show in your financial projections that the, pro the object of the, of the loan will increase sales, increase efficiency or cut costs and will in turn generate added revenue for repayment of the loan plus interest. If the loan is for working capital, show how the loan plus interest can be repaid through cash liquidity, generally during the next year's full operating cycle. And if you're seeking an investor, when it comes to venture capitalists and other equity investors, they will frequently require that you provide them with an exit strategy. They will want to know where the business is ultimately heading. The venture capitalist company is most concerned that the company has a high profit potential, that it is competitive, sustainable, and that it is something that they understand. They will want to see a financial plan that shows how the, cap the company will move towards its goals and produce the desired profit to be distributed to them under a predetermined agreement. And as equity partners, investors have a say in how the, the company is operated. They will want to see a strong management team and it will be the hardest to satisfy because they are putting their own funds at risk. So the, third, the fourth thing that you should look at to increase the chances of being approved for funding is a question of, is there a demand for your product or service? Be prepared to show evidence that your product or service is well received by your target market and that the demand will be sustainable. You can demonstrate demand through a favorable sales history, accounts reservable information or purchase orders. If you're a new service business or a business with a new product, show customer acceptance through test market results, questionnaire and survey results and testimonials. To be valid, the responses must come from your target market and not from your friends and family. Test market your product and get some evaluations. Ask people who have tried your products or utilized your services to write testimonial letters. The fifth thing that you, you can look at to increase the chances of getting your funding application approved is a question of, do you have an experienced management team? Business failure is more often than not due to management problems. Most companies went under in spite of their state-of-the-art development skills because they were lacking when it came to management. Lenders and investors will undoubtedly take a close look at qualifications and industry experience of the people who are running the business. Industry expertise is a definite plus, but management experience may be the defining factor for achieving profitability. Another thing to look at is, have you established a proprietary position? This means that you have secured a position in the market in some manner. It is important that there is something unique about your business and that you have protected this uniqueness in some way. This may be through copyright, trademark or patent. If you're located in a mall or shopping center, for example, proprietary position might be established by working with the management to limit direct competition within a given radius of your store. Another thing to look at is your numbers. Are your projections realistic? Lenders and investors will measure projections against current industry standards available to them through various sources. Base your figures on your current market share. Explain your opportunities for growth and demonstrate how you plan to make use of these opportunities. Each industry has its range of accepted financial results and market approaches. The most common error is overstating revenues and understating expenses. Projections that are outside of the industry standards will quickly kill the perceived credibility of your business plan. Examine the annual reports of public companies in your field. Read trade journals business publications and government and industry reports to determine trends in your business area. 
Work out a realistic timetable for achieving your goals. Remember that lenders and investors judge your plan and goals in terms of your industries, practices, and trends. Another thing is your marketing, your go-to-market strategy. Do you have a strong marketing plan? When a lender or investor is reviewing your business plan, one of the primary areas of focus will be your marketing plan. As you write your marketing plan, you will learn that much of the emphasis is placed on the development of a highly targeted market that can be effectively served by your business. That means that you have customers who need what you have to offer and who will choose you over your competitors and pay you to solve their problems and fulfill their needs. The lender will make an assessment regarding the logic of your marketing plan and will decide whether or not it is probable that during the term of your loan, you will be able to sell to those customers in a volume that is sufficient to repay your loan plus interest. An investor will not be looking at your marketing plan solely in terms of your current plans. As a potential equity partner, they will focus. They will also focus on your long-term marketing goals making a determination as to whether or not it is likely that the company can continue to increase its market share accordingly and generate the desired return on investment. So those are the things, those are the pointers that I just wanted to share with you as you work on your business plan um, so that you, you don't, because we know that funding application process can be so tedious and so difficult. And I think sometimes they make it so difficult because they're trying to filter people because everyone, wherever you go, people are talking about funding, they're looking for funding. So you have to make sure that your business plan is well packaged. And there I was just giving you the pointers on the key things that you need to look at so that you can understand what funders are really looking for when they assess the investment, when they assess uh, your funding as, um, needs. So I hope that you found this um, helpful and it's okay. You can go back, listen to it, time and again, and then, yeah, I hope it would give you some insights and I wish you all the best in your funding application and acquisition journey. Stay tuned for more content.